Hello and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Last time we begun this base assault and so far it has been a horrifying. <laughs> so far we've got this area where I think it's going to be alien goo of death. Contact. Ah fuck. Actually that's fine. I didn't want to believe it, but it's clear the aliens have been experimenting on the abductees. What could they be hoping to accomplish through this? Alien butt mind meld. That's my theory on the matter. Pop it. Oh yeah, go Brandon. Oh, he is a good man. Good. You guys can't see over there. Uh, that's depressing. Chloe, where can I move you? There. Um, Ahmed, you move. You can move to here. You'll be fine. Just watch out. Watch out. Uh, I'll get you up here just in case it doesn't go well. Odds. Eighty-seven. That went well. Yeah, I shouldn't be stood next to a fucking explodey tank. Not a smart move, in my opinion. But it gets the job done. Uh, right, I've got to go to over here, I think. I just hope I don't have to double back through this hellhole. That would be... Oh, god damn annoying. Your dash. You're staying. You're not fucking moving, man. Girl, well, Scout. See what shit's there. Be storing in those tanks. DNA. That's what I'm assuming at this point. If they're operating on people, and they've got tanks of weird floaty magic goo, I'm going to assume it's... Oh shit, I've just ran into the goo. Okay, never do that again, you gimboid. Alright, prime. You moving up as well, Hadar. Hadar! Was it Hadar? Or Hadir? I don't fucking remember. I have the memory of a sieve. Clear to engage. Oh, joy. Yeah, I can't catch them, so I know I can just shoot them to the hell. Uh-oh. Eh, yeah, go for it. Survey says... Ooh, yes. Another satisfied customer. And... You say... Murder! In the first degree. Uh, I was expecting that to do a chain fucking reaction, but good. Good it didn't. Just watch. Uh, yeah, take it out. Just expected for him to take things out now. So, on the left hand side, I believe there are things that are going to kill me. Yeah, I think they're up that bit. Uh, I'm going to have to sort this out. Uh, where are you? There you are. So you have cover. You have cover there. Clear to engage. Oh shit, it's the mutant peeps. 
Uh, oh, it is the fuckers that will murder our face. Um, I'm scared. You can hit. Right. No, actually, that's good. That is good. You can hit. Does up to two. Does up to seven. Let's go for it, man. Six damage. Good. Shot them didn't kick in. I need to deal with them. I'm not doing anything until they're fucked up. 76. Damn! Castillo. 68, really? Damn. Go for it. Oh, you bastard. Kill it. One. Oh, come on! Oh, this thing's gonna mull our people's face off. Right. Oh, I should have used you. See? Yeah, I should have used Primal there to holo target the fucker. We've only got two people left. Guaranteed hit there. Good. Got the fucker down to six. Oh, that is good. Where can I move you? Where can I move you? I can move you there. Run and gun. Oh, that thing needs to die. Yesterday. Two shots in the face. Yay! Dead. But they've got no suppression on their asses. What are you doing? Blood call. Uh oh. Oh god. That is a bad hit. How are you doing, man? Battle fatigue. Oh joy. Oh, fuckity fuck. Um, shit. Where are my medics? Where are the medics? Need you to go here. Medic, 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 medic. Where's my other medic that's got? Ah, there you are. I was wondering where you've got. Go here. Fix him up as best as you can. I was going to take two charges to fix him. Damn it. Odds 58. Where's Primal? 49. Hello! <laughs> when I wasn't expecting him to kill him, he kills it. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. Keep an eye on the bitch. Well, oh, there's one left. There you are. He's moving. Damn, he didn't get hit. Oh, come on, go into Ivan's range. Who are you shooting? Oh, God, you hit Primal. Dot hit Primal. For fuck's sake, dot hit him. I like him. Oh, you're in sight. Uh, my prediction. Cloudy with a chance of brains. Oh, fucker. Didn't die. Alright. Try it now. Cloudy with a chance of brains. He did. He was gloriously dead. So I suspect I need to go to the end of this room, and oh god, I have to pick a side again. <laughs> Shit! 
Right, where can I move you safely without triggering? Well, possibly fucking it up. You're good there. Keep an eye out. I'll leave. Doodlebutt up there. Ivan, the destroyer. Plus none. I was Doodlebutt. Fernando! Get ready. Oh yeah. And... Yeah, the game's getting a bit choppy right now. I'm going to have to quickly save and come back, so... I'll see you in a few. Sorry about that intermission. Uh, I had to, you know, restart the game. It's starting to slow down. One of the drawbacks of how this game was made... Unfortunately, it has buffering issues. Well, I don't know if it's buffering or if it's just it doesn't delete what it's stored up after a while. Either way, it has that issue. Hmm. I think that was a dog. I think that's. Well, it sounded a bit like a bestial dog. In my opinion. It's fine if I'm moving up, if I'm. Right, Ivan can reload. I'm pretty much safe in here right now. Where can I go? Ah, so one way. So I can either go left or right up here. Up to here. Okay, um, go there. Reload. Should be safe. Reload. I don't know what that was, but it sounded creepy as fuck. No, I mean E.T. creepy, not E.T. creepy. <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking creepy. And home. Ah! Definitely E.T. creepy, that. I need to start moving Ivan up. Oh, he has marvellous distance. I've said it before, and I said it again, he is a beautiful sniper. He needs to make the sniper babies. Uh, yeah, Brandon and... Oh, it's a door. We're fine. Can get everyone moved up. I didn't know there was a door there. Just didn't. How am I meant to fucking see through things? I don't have x-ray fucking vision. Ready to rock. Yes, you got to fuck x-rays with your vision. I'm chicken ah. Don't know where I was going with that one, but it was a magical moment for all of us. More for some than others. But still magical. Yeah, magical. Yeah, with all the magical and the stuff and the ah. ah, ah. Yes, um, I need to get ready for this. Cal, get there. I need to plan this really carefully. If something pops up, it's going to get shot anyway. Um, it sounds like a dying cat. I want Ivan on the other side. And turn. Get moved there. Ivan, get into your spot. Scanning. 
That will be a beautiful hellhole of death in a minute. But what? The f what that cheating son of a bitch. Okay. Open. See what hell we've unleashed. Really? It's nothing. What is it? Oh, it's over here. Um, uh, you can go there. See what happens. Nothing. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know why, I just have a bad feeling like shit is going to go horribly wrong. And these feelings of mine are usually right. If anything moves into my sight, it dies. Right. Ivan can see through a narrow slot there. Uh, you should be fine there, Ivan. Get the heavies there. Not. We need to get moved up. Everyone's on full good. Actually, we can move Ivan up here. Uh, Chloe, no. Brandon, we need you up front. So you have the hollow targets. We can put you there. And uh, I suppose you there. He's just hunkering down like, uh, shit's going down, I don't want to be here. It's on the right hand side, whatever that is. Sounds like some sort of big metal piece of dragon steel. Oh god, here we go. Oh dear god, this is horrifying. I am going to have to trigger whatever's in there. Really? I'm scared. I am really scared of what's going to pop out right now. I am not staying there. I wish I had battle scanners right now. I honestly do. Joy. Uh. You'd be fine there, Ivan. Operation Butt Plug is a go. I repeat, Operation Butt Plug is a go. I need to lighten the tension. Over there, and on the other side. Here we go, mutants. Hobson, take him down. Oh, damn it. Go, Delgado. Oh, damn it, Delgado. Still off. No, I need to take out the beefy. I need to take out the beefy to You can't hit. What? You know what? I'm gonna fucking funnel the bitches. Now, actually, that's an idea. -ish. Fire the rocket in their face. We'll end all of their damn race. 
90. do this and I guarantee to hit effectively we used to. You know what? I'll rocket you. No, oh, no, oh, keep a rocket. Go for one. He did. He did. Oh yeah. He did. Um I can move you there. You should be able to hit something. Go for it. Major, you definitely have earned your promotion as long as you stay alive. 96. No, that's actually an idea. Seven. Ah, rapid, rapid office. That's one. Oh yes, you critted him to hell. Oh, I love my men. They are so goddamn good. I, I need to have a round to calm. To identify where these fuckers are, I'll take them down. No way. That was only that lot over there. That's a dead end. So that must meet. Oh no way. That isn't a dead end. There's gonna be more mutons this way. Damn it, boys. I need to. Uh, need job. Movementational prowess. Good girl. Ivan can move there because we don't need anyone on the right. You can go there, we'll see what's up. Even if you're not in cover, you're still... You're alright. Ah. Tripping balls. Yeah, get dashing into cover with him. Oh, don't move too far out. That's the thing I want to keep an eye on. Sectoids! Yeah, sectoids. Come on, sectoids. Meet your maker. They're straight a fucking cross, man. But I know there'll be something up here. Where's uh, Delgado? Come on. Proc these fuckers. And if anything comes for you, you're gonna shoot it. Delgado. You should be okay to go up there. If not, we're gonna fucking bail you out like Christian. Ah! So they fucked off. Good to know. Um, end the turn. Straight across, man. I don't think we're alone out here. No, we're not. We need to get your ass back here. Actually, that's useful for cover. Um, Ivan's fine there. Got there. Dash in across the ground. Get the fuck out of my way. Shooting aliens down. 
Murdering all the day. Ivan will be fine over there. He is a bonfire badass. He's a sniper surgeon. Tell him to pick off a bloody mo cancerous mole with that gun. And he'll do it. Right. Not spotted. Uh, we'll move up. With Fernando and Cal. There we go. Yep, aliens are behind that thing. I know it. Uh, where's Cal? Go. Yes, it almost looks like a larger version of the sectoid, but something is different. What is that energy? It's the energy of it going to that. And it, oh, you bastard, you got your high cover. It's a commander. Sabling shot its face. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. And this is why I kept a fucking rocket. So fuck him up. Boom. Oh, it didn't hit. Damn it. No. Um, I need a plan, I need a plan. Odds. 19 to fucking hit. Fuck that, I'm out. Keep my ass covered. Hello. Uh, oh fuck, I get Cal round. Oh, wait, wait. You. You can go round. You can get close. Oh, shh. No, you can't fucking hurt it. That's the problem. Fire. What's this? Go for it. Don't crit, don't crit. Don't crit. Just hit. Damn. Still up. Got double tap kicked in. Good. Go on, Ivan. Land a shot, as is your birthright. Ivan took off both of its legs and one of its arms just there. <laughs> That's what we're explaining has happened. That alien is clearly different from the others. It's wielding a power unlike anything we've previously encountered. No shit, Sherlock. And now it's our bitch. Subduing target. Yeah. Tell the doc we're Feels like we're finally the turning the tide. Point. Now that we've captured their device, the aliens are running out of secrets. It's imperative that we begin the research as soon as possible. Oh yeah. Now that we've captured this device, we should probably be expecting the aliens to pursue us more aggressively. I doubt losing it was part of their plan. Yeah, I doubt it either, Doctor Shen. We did it! Oh, it took an hour to deal with that whole thing. Central, this is Big Sky. The rubber's on the road and the kids are in the back seat. Over. Roger that, Voodoo 3 1. See you inside. Central left. Wrong, Doctor? Don't you think a victory celebration is a bit premature at this juncture? We just neutralized their central command. We've got no other alerts on the entire system, and we took out their leader. In my book, that's a win, Doctor. She knows something.
We're back, bitches. Commander, I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one who understands this war isn't over yet. The existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question. If the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what was it communicating with? Space Jesus. This is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. Hint, hint. I think we can get cyanotic soldiers now. Once we do the research. Trace the hyperwave signal. Fuck off. We have a kernel. Four more health or two actions shot. No, I'm going for the health. Most definitely. And we got the deep pockets on Chloe. Oh, we need to and Fernando's injured. Excellent work, Commander. Capturing the alien subjects alive allows for a much wider range of experimentation versus the expired specimens. Yep. Got the sectoid commander captive. The panic has decreased worldwide by two. Be in touch, commander. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, we can research Titan armor. Oh no 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 no! Wait wait! Research. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. <laughs> we can go off until we get him. That's a priority, really. Ooh, we can investigate the. Bers Ooh, Berserker. We'll investigate you. The men are calling this beast the Berserker, although it shares the same structure as the Muton. For reasons yet unknown to us, the Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. He's on drugs. He's tripping balls. He's tripping balls, man. Hey. Although similar to the previously catalogued mutant species, this particular specimen is different. Our troops have taken to calling this beast the Berserker based on its uncharacteristically aggressive tactics in the field. Despite sharing the same psy psychological structure of the other mutants, for reasons yet unknown to us, the Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust, charging into combat with little regard for its own safety. Current theories as to the cause of this behaviour have led us to begin investigating possible genetic manipulations of the subjects in doctrine glands, uh, in this case, the equivalent glands that appear to secrete androgenic hormones. If the aliens enlarged or modified the action of these glands, it could explain the Berserker's outbursts. Specifics on this creature's abilities in combat should be available when using the unit analysis view on the fucker. Good to know. Oh, we can make combat spin stims. Temporary boost to several of our soldiers' vital stats. Interesting. Ooh, interrogate the fucker. Yep. Our most powerful sedatives. Oh, this will be funny. Hang on, motherfuckers! Oh my god, it's denting the fucking thing. Shit! Let's get that sorted. Yay! Oh, this captive was even more violent and aggressive than we expected, exceeding the previous limits established by the flora and muton species. Despite heavy sedation, it was virtually impossible to control the subject, leaving us very little recourse other than to increase the vigour of our tactics. After probing several regions of the captive's brain, we managed to find the appropriate stimulus to calm the beast after which we put the captive through a number of controlled physical tests. By observing the subject's movements while burdened by the massive suit of armour it is outfitted with, we've gained enormous insight into how the invaders approach the difficult design question associated with creating a heavy armour suit. 
Striking a balance between effective armor coverage and maneuverability in the field is no easy task, but this data should prove invaluable to our own efforts. So any armor tech is easy to research now. So I could go for Titan armor and it two fucking days. Sweet, it's mine. Whoop, 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 whoop. Titan armor. Among the heaviest of our body armor prototypes, the Titan armor. It's used the alien element known as Levium to provide a continual powered assist to the operator of the suit as they move through the battlefield. With the element in short supply, we've tried to find the most efficient means to utilize it in our development programs. In this case, the Levium power cells is used to fuel an integrated cooling system designed to minimize fatigue by regulating the operator's body temperature. This it system gives the Titan armor the added benefit of increased resistance to environmental hazards, particularly fire and poison damage. Oh yes. I can't make anything else. Oh, I'll investigate like that. Oh, oh, I'll go for that. Hey, little buddy. He mad. Fine, we'll get him some cookies, some Kool Aid. He'll be fine. The grenades are finished. Wait, 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 wait. Few soldiers, where are you? There you are, Cal. Uh, you're gonna get these bad boys. These? They do up to five damage. Oh, they've got the same blast radius. Fucker! Oh, I thought it might have been bigger. Yeah? Yeah, you can have some corpses. Hey! Cyanic lab. This specimen has a uniquely defined cellular structure within its brain, augmented by a series of advanced cybernetic implants that must have been ingrained shortly after its birth. Due to the unusual abilities exhibited by this captive in the field, we've had to be particularly cautious during the interrogation process. Evidence of a telekinetic power unlike anything previously recorded in known science has left some members of the research team unwilling to approach the subject. We were met with limited success in retrieving new information directly from the captive. Although we have come to understand how the captive was able to interact with the mysterious device we found within the alien base. We've also had time to further analyze the modules implanted in the subject's body, which will likely lead to a number of unexpected advances. We can make a psionic lab. Ah, we can dissect the fucker. Do it. This is an extremely dangerous species, Commander. Although not physically intimidating, the psionic power that this creature wields is perhaps the greatest threat we've encountered so far. Basically, in and of itself, it's Operation Mind Fuckery. How much cash do I have? 175. Can I build? Well, no, I want to build a fucking facility again, boy. Uh, 200! Oh, you cheeky fuck. Uh, keep you the nexus. Ah, uh, fine, I can build you there. I'll just sell some sh corpses. Is there any. Yep, there's Rex. Yeah, Jake, you can't. One hyperwave beacon. I'll not sell it. Yep, we're not selling that. <laughs> because we would fuck ourselves over in the game. Here's a hyperwave beacon. Let us know what happens with it. You're dead! Shit. We're fucked. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. 14 days before we can create the mind meldery fuckery. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Reduction sites. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Oh, God. Reductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So it's the same ship again. Well, actually, I'm just going to be going to South Africa. It's got more panic. But that'll have to wait until next time. So until then, take care.